All right, thought I'd do a semi-quick video explaining um, how to protect yourself against some of this virus stuff in kind of the simplest, crudest way, um, where you don't have to fix something. Uh, you just rely on a backup copy. And so basically the idea is to copy your operating system onto something else, like an external hard drive. I bought that one used on eBay for like 13 bucks. Uh, 150 gigabytes and um, so if my system fails my hard drive crashes or I get a horrible malware or virus or something else um, I can put a copy of my operating system on that drive and uh, then just take that drive out of the box and put it back put it into my computer so this will also work if you have a computer that doesn't have room for multiple drives I mean my computer I got four hard drives in it so I got plenty of room to put extra drives in to have copies of my operating system. So it's a fail safe. And so it's good for the two purposes. One, in case your hard drive just breaks. And two, in case you get infected by some horrible computer nonsense that destroys your computer. And then everything you have, your desktop, everything will just be just the way it was and you don't have to change anything and you know, it's just really good. So there's a couple of ways that you can protect yourself also. Um, simple, so we'll go through these really quick. I'll try to be quick. Um, so if you hit the Run menu in Windows XP off the Start menu, and uh, you type in, I should have it actually in here, so I just, just have to grab it from the menu here, Reg Edit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. So you gotta type, um, and hit Enter. That'll bring up your registry, and you know, it has all this, bullshit this you know secret code of the Windows operating system in here so anyway you just want to copy the entire registry so you put it on you know my computer and uh, you go to the file menu and it gives you the option to export and so you just export the entire registry and just give it a name that you'll be able to find and so I will type in a, something some sort of bullshit <laughs> and uh, you make sure where you know where it is and, uh, and you just hit save and it creates a copy of your registry and all you'll have to do if something's going really wrong is you just double click that REG file and um, I'll show you it should be in here it should it takes a little minute for it to make the file uh, but there should show up here so it's it's a rather large file 118 megabytes but you know, it's not that big, it's a small video file. Um, but anyway, it's a reg file, dot reg. And you just double click that and it will reinstate your registry to the state it was in when you made that file. So if you get a virus or something, a lot of them, that will kill it. Uh, but it'll take you to a previous state that'll undo all the changes the virus made to your registry. Now, malware and worms and that kind of stuff, they just, they get into files themselves and the registry isn't going to fix that. So that kind of thing is what you need to have some backup plan for. Um, if you don't want to have to run a bunch of lousy, crappy, uh, you know, anti-spyware software that half the time slows your system down and gets infected itself and makes a mess. So anyway, so this is plan is about um, copying the disk. So you sort of have to be familiar with, um, you know, if you're going to do this disk thing. So let's say you have an external hard drive, USB drive, uh, that's a little larger than your operating system drive. Um, you go to computer management. Um, I'll show you the progression. It's control panel, computer, whatever, administration, and computer management, and then under that, menu you have something called disk management so you go there and it'll show your hard drives and you can you can mess with them and it does show the USB ones that you have plugged in and so here's the one I've copied my operating system to so I have another copy of my whole operating system on that partition um, I'll just show you how to create a partition by deleting the one here so I'll delete this partition on that drive um, and uh, so basically you want to just get to all unallocated space and then create a, a partition on the drive. Let's say you have a 250 megabyte external drive and your operating system, your C drive, is only 60 gigabytes or something. 
and all you really want to do is create a partition big enough to hold that operating system so you can throw away an extra five gigabyte or something but you know so just make it a little bit bigger just to be safe and you do that by finding the drive and then you'll right click um, on the empty space and say new partition and you just go through this little wizard menu um, you want a primary partition and uh, it, 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 when you already have one per partition it will already allocate the remaining space but you can just change this number um, I could make five partitions on here and well I just did accidentally <laughs> so but I really don't want to do that uh, so I'm going to type in the 59 number just, just so I don't have a mess here 624 all right um, and then you just hit next and then you assign it a drive letter and you're set and uh, you can't change the format it's always going to be NTFS but you can do that other ways but unfortunately under DOS you can't uh, under Windows you really can't um, fat 32 any drive over or any partition over 35 um, gigabytes so it's sort of useless and for this method you don't need to format um, so let me go back and because I don't want to do any format uh, well, I mean, for this partition I do because I want to store space on it, so I will format it. And it shouldn't take long, so it shouldn't matter. Um, so anyway, so it's formatting that little extra hunk of drive. Uh, so the tool we're going to use, so that's the first tool. So you create your partition. Um, one of them you can make active later or before. It uh, apparently doesn't matter, but you probably will have to make it active to be a bootable drive afterwards. Um, oh yeah, this format will take a while, but I did a regular format. Uh, but anyway, that shouldn't get in our way. Really shouldn't. Um, <clears throat> so this is the tool we're going to use. It's um, I'll leave a link for this. It's free software and it allows you to make um, uh, mirrors of a hard drive, which means you can make a file copy um, that you can basically through the same software put back on another drive so you could copy your uh, operating system into a non bootable state but it will be a, a copy of everything and then you can load that copy back on another hard drive to make it and make it bootable to your operating system I think it's easier just to do this drive to drive thing and create another bootable copy of your operating system if you have number one the capacity to add hard drives to your computer directly or if you're using an external that you can get the hard drive out of and so that'll be another video I'll do just taking that hard drive enclosure apart you can buy them cheap just the enclosure and put your own hard drive in it and then you'll know how to take it apart and get the hard drive in and out and it makes your life easier because then you can have it as an external USB hard drive for storage when you want it um, but it's also a backup of your system so if something happens to your main hard drive you'll have that backup hard drive that you can just pop out of the box uh, so this K1 is the um, yeah so this one hasn't been formatted yet um, uh, unfortunately so well, we'll use it even though it's a little dangerous <laughs> just to show you the example so you would pick first you pick the drive you want to copy so that's the C drive the, the major drive on my computer and then you would hit the next menu and uh, this is the key part here there's this thing called raw mode um, I tried it a couple of times where it adjusts the size of the the it, it can basically takes out all the dead space so you could actually take your operating system to a smaller partition you could move it to a smaller drive by taking out the dead space um, but uh, that didn't work uh, so if you, I click this raw mode it did work so, so you'll need to have a partition that's at least as big as the one you're um, copying so your external drive will have to be at least as large as your operating system partition so anyway so you click raw mode and then you hit next and it's basically pretty simple um, um, I'll just I can hit the next menu because that's the one where you just choose now you choose which 
drive you want to send it to and this would be disk 4 one is the one I used and you can see 90 gigabytes that's my hard drive it's the same number as my operating system hard drive was 82 uh, so I killed a little bit of space but that's okay um, and uh, yeah and then you hit next and it'll start um, when you pick what drive you want to copy it to and then it will give you it'll start and it'll give you a little warning screen and tell you you're gonna be eradicating the drive you're going to the USB drive and you just type in what it tells you to type in the box and say yes and you will um, and it, it took about five hours for it to do 90 gigabytes um, which wasn't bad really and um, then uh, you know I did try to boot it um, by changing um, the settings uh, in the uh, BIOS on the computer um, but you know it really didn't do much good because apparently you can't really boot XP from an external device unless you really screw around with the data files and I wasn't going to bother with that because really it's not worth the trouble um, so I did get an error uh, when I tried to boot from it but it should be okay the error I don't think they any permanent damage, so what I'm going to do in the next video is I'll take that box apart, pull the hard drive out, put it in the computer, and boot from it just to verify that it worked. So anyway, the rest of this video I'll just put in fast motion is me making all kinds of mistakes and fucking this up to do it the first time. But anyway, so this is free software. It's pretty damn good. And so I'll post a link to the software. So the only thing you need is this free piece of... Uh-oh. Why did I start? I didn't mean to start. I don't think I did. All right. Um, <laughs> yeah, just get out of there before I make a mess. Uh, so the only thing you really need is this, you know, the computer, um, you know, the disk manager, uh, disk management in Windows XP. You just need to get to there to do your partitioning and um, just use the free software to do the uh, drive creation and, uh, and then you can back up your operating system and never worry about having to find lost files or get lost files or your send your hard drive off to get read or some other kind of bullshit uh, anyway and so I'll just put on the end of this video in fast motion the stuff I went through learning this or learning how to do it right I mean it wasn't that bad I didn't make that many mistakes um, but yeah, I worried about FAT32 and all this kind of stuff, but I didn't really figure out that it's erasing the partition anyway, so it doesn't matter what it's formatted as, so you don't have to worry about formatting, you just have to create a partition and then, um, you know, have it identified so it can be erased with the new partition. So anyway, enough of a video. Hopefully a little bit coherent and such. Yeah, I don't know why I'm doing that. You really don't need to see the, <laughs> the icons. Yeah. All right, anyway, until next time. And such. Links.